Today we're going to talk to Exactly, the leader in on-demand sales performance management, about how they use Veeple's video tools to interact with customers, prospects, and partners. So welcome to Building 43. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Um, can you tell me about exactly and what you guys do? Sure. Uh, so exactly is the very first uh, mul true multi-tenant application to automate sales compensation, uh, which ultimately helps companies uh, change the behavior of their sales teams, whether they're captive or non-captive sales agents or sales reps, inside, outside, any kind of person that's paid variable comp. We automate it and we provide all the web-based visibility so that they can pay them differently, pay them correctly, and uh, drive better better sales out of the out of the sales teams. So, is this more of a tool for the company that hires salespeople more so than for the individual salesperson? It's well, it's for both. I mean, the companies do it and buy it because they need to calculate. Uh, simple example: if you had a company that had twenty sales reps mm -hmm. and you're paying them fifty or hundred grand a year, which is pretty standard, you're talking about a million dollar to two million dollar cost center. Right. So, even in a small company, this can be lots of money. So the companies want to do it so they can automate, get rid of Excel, and start paying correctly. The sales reps love it because they want to be able to see how they're being paid. Right. And you know, as an old ex-sales guy, my whole career, you spend your whole time, you know, checking. They call it shadow accounting, where you keep your keep track of your own records to make sure that you know finance isn't underpaying you. And we don't like to do that, but we just all do it. And so exactly provides the transparency so that everybody can see how they're being paid. It's all real time, it's all in the cloud so they can see it immediately through the internet or through their PDA. I see. And it just changes the way they do business. So is your biggest competitor people still using Excel spreadsheets yeah, or are there far. any on-premise software solutions that you're also there, going up against like yeah, some of these SaaS companies are? Yeah, there's a couple. Uh, in fact, I, I've been in the space about 14 years and I spent mm -hmm. seven years at one of those on-premise companies and learned all the reasons why that doesn't work. And that's why we founded it exactly about six and a half years ago, uh, was to take advantage of the new technologies being in the cloud and multi-tenancy uh, so that customers don't have to own hardware and own software and worry about upgrades and enhancements. They can focus on what they do and they can have their reps focus on what they do best and everything just works and it's easily accessible in the cloud or through their PDA. So the world's changed and the old, the old uh, paradigm of on-premise you know, is, is dying off. What do they um, become most excited about? Is it the transparency or that everything's organized in a way that actually makes sense? It's a great question because of course it, it's different depending on who you talk to. If you talk to the finance people that are working 14 hour days and weekends to make it all work, they get excited about automation. <laughs> If you talk to the sales people, they get excited about being paid accurately and on time and having visibility. If you talk to the management of sales, uh, sales management or leadership or VPs of sales, they get excited because they can see how th the dollars that they're spending, these millions of dollars, are actually driving the behavior. And so they right. get super excited to be able to start to play with the dials and the buttons to say, geez, if we could change the comp this way or, or, or incentivize a little bit differently on maybe discounting practices or product mixes, they can all of a sudden see a ripple effect and oh my gosh, I just changed the behavior of 500 people overnight. Wow. And you could begin to see how that can dramatically affect the bottom line. Is, is there any sort of aspect to it that uh, you get pushback on from organizations that you try to sell to? Not really. I mean, I, I'd say, you know, six and a half years ago when we first started the company, it was still a little bit earlier, obviously, in the in the days of of on-demand and multi-tenancy, and so you had some, you know, older CIOs kind of going, "Well, what about the cloud and security?" And <laughs> we don't even hear that anymore. I mean, that, that that ship has so sailed that you know we just get no pushback whatsoever. So, you know, it's just the the, the beauty of this kind of model is that the trepidation that people might have had years ago when I was asking them for a million dollar license sale goes away because right. it's like, hey, well, just why don't you try it out? <laughs> why don't you get live for a, mo a month? You know, some of our customers. Um, we have an express product, which is for customers that have less than 100 reps. Okay. These folks can get live in two or three or four hours. Nice. Right? So we can literally say, well, why don't you try it out for a couple of days? And you know, don't take my word for it, just try it out. And, right, and that's a lot better than talking to a enterprise software sales rep for months and then yeah, setting up a having deployment to go to strategy. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. How much hardware I got to buy, who's going to host it. I mean, it's just, those days are over. And so the world's changed. So do you guys, um, I know another, I don't know much about sales personally, but I know that salesforce.com is 
an extremely popular tool. Do you guys integrate with them in any sort of way? Well, we're or? completely integrated with them. They're one okay. of our customers, so every worldwide rep within Salesforce gets paid through exactly. Oh, nice. Um, they're also an investor in the company, <laughs> so our two companies co probably couldn't be much closer uh, because what we do in terms of paying the sales reps their mm -hmm. commissions is extremely complementary to what they do, which is the reps going into their CRM tool and tracking their orders. And in fact, if you're a Salesforce customer and you become an Exactly customer, overnight a button appears on every one of your opportunities. So if I'm a rep and I'm going in there every day and I'm looking at this X, Y, D, Z deal that I'm working on, all of a sudden they're going to see a little button that's an Exactly button and it's an cool. Estimate My Commissions button, right? So they can now they can press that button and see how much that money they're going to make even before they sell the deal. So you, you know, you talk about this behavioral science and this ability to change behavior, that's how you do it. You do it within the CRM system. And that's that's why exactly what I was going to bring up. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's why, why we're so tightly coupled with Salesforce. We're also equally tightly coupled with Oracle as well. And how so? We so? Go to, well, we're, we're part of their Elite 8 uh, program. We go to market with them. The product works within their Oracle On Demand application. Okay. So everything I just described from Salesforce works also through, uh, through the Oracle relationship. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, so I looked at your website before we started talking, and I noticed that you also have an API. We do. Can you tell me about that? Well, when, this is one of the nice things about you know being a, a SaaS um, product and SaaS company where every single one of our more than 400 customers today is on the same version of our product. Mm -hmm. um, because of that, we don't change the data schema. We have a single schema, we, you know, and we, we, we created a single API that we give out to any of our uh, partners or customers that want it. And because it's not changing, our customers can take that API and they can write directly into our product or extend our product into other areas, including their CRM. Right. Uh, and those are things we couldn't do in my days when I worked with an on-premise company. Right. Because every company had a different version and there was no such, you know, we just couldn't provide them an API. And then you add on top of that, they could be in different network situations where you might need to be on a VPN or not, and you're, you're a public internet service. So, right. So people can rely on being able to communicate. That's right. Um, so you guys are using Veeple. Can you tell me about what Veeple is and what you're using it for? Sure, so Veeple is an interactive uh, video uh, product that we came across and we've been using. Okay. And what we find is uh, we were starting to get into the video stuff. Video was hot and so we would you know, do these little video clips and we'd put okay. them out on our website. Right. And you know, we thought it was neat and we thought we were cutting edge, but what we found was that we really couldn't, we were kind of in the dark, right? We couldn't tell how many people were really, we could tell how many people clicked on it, but that's about it, right? You right. didn't know how many, you didn't know at what specific moment did they stop and, and abandon or did they click through. The okay. other thing is the videos weren't interactive. They were just, you know, a video. What do you right? mean by interactive? So by inter what I mean by interactive is, you know, it's one thing for me to get on the screen and do a video and say how great I am and blah, blah, blah. Right. But imagine if I'm talking to you and we're having a conversation through the video mm -hmm. and, I, and I say, geez, you know, this example that we just talked about with the API, right. and above my head, a little button appears that says, want to learn more about what Chris is talking about? Here's the whole API story and customer success story on that that he just talked about. Oh, right? cool. Now yeah. you have some interact interaction going on where the right. customer might go, wow, I'm, I'm interested in what he just said. I want to click on that. Click on that. Now it's going to take me through a whole different path of this video. I see. So I imagine see. we have videos, for example, which have endless um, trails, right? Because right. it's driven by the user. The user can decide if he's interested in what I'm talking about, he can click through, or if he's not, he can go a different direction or she can go a different direction. And so mm -hmm. it's not me putting a 40 minute long video of which you're gonna go to sleep in the first two minutes. Right. It's you watching maybe still 40 minutes, but you're deciding the path based on what you're interested in. Almost sounds like a choose your own adventure. It kind of, of is. It kind of is. It's like these these you know DVDs that have multiple endings. You know, right. I mean, you decide the ending. You decide which way you want to go. And what we f have found is, Veeple allows us not only to do all that, mm -hmm. but it allows us to track the success of it. And so we can tell if people are abandoning. We can tell where they're abandoning. And so we can go back and say. Something we're doing right about here in the video is turning people off, so let's change it. <laughs> let's stop doing that, right? Let's do it right. a different way. And Or uh, what we found mostly is, geez, they really like the fact that they can click around and do these different things, mm -hmm. and so let's do more of that. Because you almost can't do too much, right? Because it's all, the, the, the people are generally used to the, the notion of, hey, I'm looking at a Yahoo or something, and I can right. click on a million. You know, they get that. They need no education right. to click on certain parts of the screen. And so once they kind of figure out that, hey, this is an interactive video, 
they can kind of go crazy with it. Explore you know. it. Yeah, <laughs> explore it as much as they want. It, it makes it more fun than just sitting there watching. I, as a user, it's 10 times more fun. I so, would think so. Yeah, so we use it that way. And then what we found was the kind of videos we were doing, we would put them up on our website. You right. Know, and ideally, you're trying to you know, get prospects that are coming in and they're surfing around and, okay, how do we get them to, to learn more about our company? Mm -hmm. And so for the reasons I just described, we've had great success there. But then we started saying, well, this is a great tool for our partners as well. How right? so? Like well, for so training take, them? Or? Yeah, so take Salesforce as a great example, right? Okay. I just got through saying they're a partner of ours as right. well as a customer. So you have a thousand sales reps out there mm -hmm. who I'm sure are getting asked every day, geez, we love you Salesforce for your CRM, but who do you use for comp? And we know they're going to say exactly, but is all, are all thousand of them going to say what we want them to say? Are they all going to be on message and understand and know, how, you know, kind of some of the lingo we want? And so we've provided internal videos to them that explain all those things. They explain why they should care, why there's benefit to them to recommend exactly, why, why this is good for them and their customers to extend the value of their CRM. And of course, there's pricing and stuff, so they can click through all those different areas. So. Uh, and we found, well, I use Salesforce as an example, but we partner with you know many, many companies. And right. so we're providing these kinds of educational videos to the partnerships. I, I say educational, it's, it's training and education awareness of how to help us be successful together as a partner, which we couldn't have done before. You know, the flat, again, 10 minute video, no one's gonna watch that. Right. You could never get someone to watch 10 minutes. We can actually now get someone to watch 10 minutes of maybe 50 minutes of overall content. Oh, interesting. Because they're choosing the path. Right. Yeah, I know when I watch a 10 minute video, I put it in a, another browser tab and I'm oh, focused on something else. Yeah, so that's a long noise. time. I mean, right. there's no way someone's going to pay attention. But if you were watching 30 or 45 second snippets of your choice and exactly. you, ch you chose the path, that starts to become much more interesting. And, and the, the back end analytics that we have from Veeple mm -hmm. that shows us how those videos are behaving, which ones are doing well, and where they're where they're specifically going. Do they show you kind of like a path? Absolutely, of, we like can a see heat the, map. Yeah, path we can see the path. Thing, we or? can see yeah, and you can see trends of you know where they drop off, where they go, what which ones are working, which ones aren't, and so it's that constant tweaking that that gets it you know not perfection, but close to you know as perfect as we can get. Do the analytics also help you um, with your navigation? Because it could be you have great content that possibly is difficult to reach. Um, does it help you they do. discover I mean, that I, sort of thing as well? Or? They do. I, you know, you can probably imagine I'm not in the in the in the video editing room with them doing sure. that, so I don't know for sure. I wouldn't be able to tell you how they do that, but mm -hmm. from what my folks tell me that work directly with them in the video lab, uh, they're helping us with everything from the actual content, how we the click through rates, how long we keep people. But then also, the, how do we improve the different navigation paths? And you know, there's different ways to put these buttons. And these guys seem to know what they're doing, and and people helps us tremendously with it. So you talk to them one on one. Well, often. We, yeah, we can we can communicate with them and get get coaching and advice on how to make it better. That's great. So what's the next big thing for exactly? Well, the next big thing for us, we're in high growth mode. So we're growing the company at 50% a year. We've continued to do that every year. We'll do it again this year. Wow. We're hiring like crazy. We just opened a, a sales office in Denver. Uh, and so we'll just keep growing and growing the company. And I, I, you know, on the horizon, we're starting to look at that IPO market, and it seems to be very friendly to uh, SaaS companies. These and, days it is. You know, <laughs> we're sort of a darling in our space. We're the leader in our space. So we have all the right things going for us, uh, and that, that's probably the direction we'll go. Well, congratulations, and thank yeah. you for spending time with us thank today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Okay.